Hey folks, John Rice here, aka The Lexpert, doing a video neighborhood tour for you today. I'm on the corner of Harrodsburg Road and Firebrook Boulevard. And the neighborhood I'm going to do today is Firebrook. Firebrook is in southwest Lexington, out Harrodsburg Road, past Man of War. There are 402 houses out here. I think what makes Firebrook unique is that it's got these two ponds on either side of the main entrance. Got a walking trail, big open spaces. Pretty cool. They also have a clubhouse, and I'll be sure to go up there with a pool and everything. Most of Firebrook was built in the early to mid 90s. There are a few streets that were late 90s and even uh, real early 2000 builds. Um, so, you know, most of the houses out here are going to be between 9 and 20 years old. I'm on the main drag of Firebrook now. Firebrook Boulevard. Let me give you an idea about what some of these houses are like. Your typical one is probably 2,500 to um, 3,000 square feet above grade. Almost all of them have basements out here. Every one I've ever been in had a basement. I'm sure there might be a handful that are on slabs or, or uh, crawl spaces. Lots of them have finished basements too. I'm going to pull in the clubhouse here show you what that's like. They've got a pool, clubhouse, uh, and what was the original farmhouse uh, from when this was just somebody's farm way, 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 way outside of Lexington. There's the pool behind there. It's Olympic size, real big. Clubhouse is right there. Lots of nice landscaping. And we're coming up on what they're calling calling the mansion. Originally this house faced this way and then when um, it was later remodeled with these big columns. I don't know if I, you can see those from over here. And here is some more of that pond with the walking trail with Harrodsburg Road up there at the top that you see. Your typical Firebrook house uh, it's going to run as low as 300, probably as much as 400. Um, you know, the, the ones that are outdated, maybe need a little TLC, are going to be on the lower end. Uh, then, of course, you know, your updated ones are going to be closer to, to 350, 400. There is a, a, a section in Firebrook with much bigger houses that I've never seen one under 500. So, uh, you know, probably 500 to 700 out there. These are in the newest section. I've known several people that uh, live or have lived out here in Firebrook. And I think one of the things that's universal that they all like is this neighborhood's pretty much tucked uh, away on the, the edge of, of Lexington. Uh, you know, you're surrounded by horse farms, you're at the very edge of development out Harrodsburg Road. Uh, so, you know, pretty much the only people that come out here are guests or they live out here. Uh, they also like having the pool. It is mandatory membership. You, they probably could Google Firebrook and get their homeowners association and get the current uh, annual dues for that, but it's a nice pool. And then also, you know, you've got, you can go down Harrodsburg Road five minutes and your uh, Palomar Shopping Center, uh, just out Harrodsburg Road and about half a mile away, you've got a shopping center with a Kroger and banks uh, and various little stores like dry cleaning, there's a Sonic. Uh, so, you know, you know, you're on that kind of the edge of Lexington, you still have modern conveniences. The schools out here are Garden Springs Elementary, 
which is a respectable school. Nobody's ever told me to avoid that, but also nobody's ever told me they want to try to get in that school. So I'm assuming that the perception is that it's, you know, an okay school. Nothing great, nothing bad. Uh, and the middle school is Beaumont Middle, and the high school is Paul Lawrence Dunbar. And those are very sought after uh, middle school and high school district. Um, can't go wrong with those, definitely. Well, that about wraps it up for Firebrook. Um, in my opinion, it, it's probably one of the, the top places to live in southwest Lexington if you're looking in that three to four hundred price range, even if you're, uh, you know, also looking between four and, and seven. There's some nice ones out here.